Hey everybody, it's Slazichov here. Uh, today I wanted to examine just very briefly some of the thoughts that I've been having regarding this image macro, uh, this little comic, two-panel comic that's been going viral on Twitter, uh, made by one at meat market underscore underscore. I, I really love this image. It's, it strikes at something that I think a lot of people have experience with uh, and is abstract enough that anybody can interpret it as being relevant to their career path. For me specifically, as somebody who works in an environment with conveyor belts and heavy machinery like this, uh, it's extremely reminiscent of my own uh, workplace. And so it has gotten me thinking quite a bit <laughs> regarding its meaning and interpretations, um, which is just so funny. <laughs> just on the surface of that it's a silly little image that is very hastily scribbled together but there's just so much personality and quirkiness to it i don't know it just it captures something very real in a in a succinct and humorous way i i think this is really a, a very good example of like the modern day of funny page cartoon sunday time uh, sunday newspaper cartoon right once upon a time, it would have been Pearls Before Swine or, or, or Garfield. Nowadays, it's random image macros made by digital artists you've never heard of on Twitter.com. Now, the comic by itself is already uh, pretty funny uh, and just kind of taps into that like, oh, well, what are you going to do sort of mentality when something unexpected arises in a work environment and... You just, as the recipient of a larger system of information and manufacturing, pretty much whatever work environment you have at your job, you feel like things are coming across your desk and you just have to react. And sometimes, you know, you want to take that up with a supervisor and uh, try and get to the bottom of something. And other times, you know, it's just kind of like... It thing, it, I guess that's what we're doing now. I guess, I guess we do in circles now, and uh, it's just such a succinct little uh, humorous panel. I, I can't wait until I hear Northern Lion say, "I guess we do in circles now," in his next daily compilation of uh, you know, Wordle. This phrase is already, I think, on, well, well on its way into becoming the thing that people say in response to something small, unexpected, that they don't really care about uh, having changed. You know, just just one of these meme phrases. And in that sort of cycle of things, it's going to become cringy at some point and outdated and no longer in vogue. So just while it's really fresh, I wanted to talk about my thought process and some of the reinterpretations that people have of it. Because one of the fascinating things about really potent memes imbued with a lot of character by the author themselves is that they will be kind of subject to a sort of collective world building. And I'm already starting to see iterations of this same triangle factory scene or environment where people are going to their bosses and just kind of talking about like, hey, there's something strange and new coming coming down the, the pipeline. What's that about? And the response is the very human interaction that people have on occasion where it's just like, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to explain that. And, you know, it's it's very mundane very like almost modern day dilbert <laughs> if i might be so crude but it's just it's something that i think a lot of people in uh, professional work environments uh, can relate to even if they don't immediately identify the imagery exactly it's so abstract that people are able to uh, take it into their own personal lives and and just go like yeah i'm I'm more of like the first person or like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more like the second person. I guess we do in circles now. And I think a really interesting part of that conversation is that people, in my opinion, in my estimation, people generally, when they are fresh to a job or they're working towards uh, being one of these uh, valuable members of a team, they start off as the, the first panel, right? They see something unexpected or they know goes against the general rule of things. They address it. They try to take care of it. They try to take action. 
and depending on how capable the management or the system as a whole is, they will either be able to tackle the problem at hand or eventually they're no longer trying to address problems as they come down the pipeline and they kind of turn into the second person. Just start becoming cynical and they, they say, oh, well, this <laughs> I've already tried to address this with a superior. It's not really changed. So I guess we do in circles now. <laughs> I just, I think it's, it's so funny how such a scrappy little comic it is so full of interpretation and personal experience and it's just so readily capable of being analyzed it's just it's fascinating to me that a little image like this someone can scribble out one day after having whatever experience at work actually resembled this scene and people across the globe are are you know going yeah yeah and me too and also what if there was a green square? Oh my god. And finally, just to kind of round off the, the full analysis of everybody's reinterpretations of this joke, I've noticed that a lot of people, and this is not to to dissuade anybody from, from making their own add-on or riff to this joke, of course. I'm not going to try and deride anybody's attempts to be a part of this 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 funny little inside joke but there's a lot of people who uh, are just kind of redoing the same joke again as the first one which is you expect a triangle and instead of a triangle it's something else and just time and time again people kind of going oh yeah instead of a triangle what if it was a crazy shape and and oh what if it was a crazy shape and oh hey guys what about what if it was a crazy shape and, uh, you know, that's fine. That's whatever. There's a lot of people also just saying like, oh, what if it was these two characters from this franchise that I like so much? And and the, jo and the joke is like, y you get it if you know the characters from the franchise. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of evident that like, I, sometimes people get a joke, right? But maybe they don't understand why the joke works. And I'm not saying that I'm a, a fucking joke professional, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I have... I have no good experience in in making successful jokes myself. Never landed one in my life. But uh, I just think it's so interesting analyzing jokes and, and seeing when people just kind of uh, say the same punchline again and again and again. But that being said, I did see an interpretation that was about Pikmin and I laughed because I'm, I'm no better than anyone else. <laughs> I fell for the exact same joke as all the rest of you. So, yeah. Just uh, just some of my thoughts regarding this this funny little image macro while it's still fresh in the atmosphere. It will die, and then and then this video will be outdated, and nobody will like the joke anymore. But for this one moment, I'm at peace. <laughs> so okay, uh, bye.